Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to this YouTube channel. It's your guy Igor here. And this video is dedicated to anyone who is planning to move to Calgary in 2023. And these are the reasons why you should move here. And I, I deal with a lot of people who move to Calgary and I know a lot of stories. And if I'm not going to get killed by the Honda Civic driving right at me, you might be actually able to see the ending of this video and it's going to get uploaded. So if it's uploaded, I made it. Anyways, this is the Calgary downtown right behind me. What I like about this place is, you see, there is a, there is a center street going over that bridge, going straight into the Chinatown on that side of the bridge. And you see there is even some restaurant over there. Now you might not be able to see the tower from this angle, but definitely that's the bridge over there, a river walk. So all of those condos, and I know a lot of people are, uh, I'm dealing with a couple of people who are very interested in buying in East Village so that they are so close to downtown. Anyways, here is why you should move to Calgary in 2023. Number one is it's better in every sense. So in 2007, it was voted as the cleanest city. <laughs> you know, for example, uh, Toronto right now, Vancouver right now, it's just so overpriced and so expensive to live and so much of competition. Now, I want to say that I just traveled to India for three months. So the first reason I would say you should move to Calgary, especially if you are a new immigrant, is not many people know about the city. <laughs> I went to India and they're saying, where are you from? I'm like, Canada. Okay. Are you from Toronto? Toronto. No, I'm not from Toronto. Are you from Vancouver? No, I'm not from Vancouver. Where are you from? Calgary. Where is Calgary? Nobody knows. And that's that is one reason is it's not going to get over flooded with immigrants and people from other countries who are coming to Canada. Anyone who wants to move to Canada, including myself, are biased to those metropolitan cities where they know someone or some relative or somebody, a friend of someone, someone moved there. So they all move there. I am hosting the refugee family from Ukraine right now in my basement. I'm originally from Ukraine myself and they also went to Ontario there. And guess what? All Ukrainians are in Toronto right now because just like everybody else, they knew about that city. It's so popular and well known worldwide. It's overpopulated, overpriced, overcompetitive. So it, 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 it leads to several things. Number one, the reason is people are making less money there. And by the way, I wanted to show you this house. As you see, guys, all of these houses are super expensive over here. Like your Toronto real estate expensive. Yeah. Do you think you can get this for $500,000? More like $2 million. This one, probably about 2.5. We can do some research, find out. So anyone in that alley, you know why? Because you get to see the downtown. So this area is not the best example of Calgary, but uh, these houses are expensive because of the location and the view and how do i know these prices of the houses guys because i work in real estate that's my occupation so anyone who has a question what am i doing i'm a realtor who is running behind me with the experience here in calgary and that's what i do for a living i help people purchase properties i don't help with rent or renting out or finding rent that i don't do that only buy or sell real estate but anyways uh, another reason why you should move to calgary is because there is less people. Now, I, I was not a realtor when I started this YouTube channel. Like, I know people hate realtors. They're like, oh, realtors and everything. Uh, guys, I started this channel probably about five years ago. I was not even think. oh my God, it's so bright because it's the sunny capital of Canada. I cannot even see, like, I feel like, oh my God, my eyes. So it's really, really bright in Calgary and it's really sunny. But I want to say that I started this YouTube channel before I even knew I would ever think of becoming uh, doing real estate that's how it all started but anyways uh, because there is less people less immigrants coming to calgary less ukrainian refugees to uh, you know less competition that's why i moved to calgary in 2014 that's why i left scarborough ontario that's why i left toronto that's why i left from there because there's too many international students like myself I was an international student from Ukraine at that time. Now I'm Canadian. I already got my citizenship. I even did an unboxing video of the passport and everything. So I was like, 
anyone to compete because there are so many more smarter people and better and more educated and uh, more professional than me and everyone is willing to do work for less than me so I was like okay uh, all of my friends stayed there nobody wants to move on Ontario and they stayed there so uh, the consequences of that is that there's still so much of competition they're still making less money than uh, those people that I know that moved here. Everyone who moved to Calgary at that time have been more successful in every single way, in aspect of making more money. You make more money in Calgary than in, in Toronto for the average kind of jobs. I'm not talking about CEOs because most people statistically are not going to be CEOs and get into those kind of roles. Statistically, an average middle-class person in Calgary would be making more money. And you can check Statistics Canada for that. Then. Number two, the prices are cheaper because the taxes are less. So in Calgary, we don't have HST tax. We have GST, only 5% sales tax. So the taxes are less in Calgary. So not only we make more, we also spend less. Then in real estate, everyone I know purchased something. People who studied with me in Centennial College on Progress Avenue, in uh, Toronto, people who moved here, everyone owns real estate, everyone purchased something so far. Uh, people I know who stayed in Ontario own nothing. They're still tenants and probably will be tenants for I don't know how many years, maybe for the rest of their lives because Toronto real estate is just not affordable. So housing is cheaper, rent is cheaper, income is higher, expenses are lower. So in terms of financial stability, Calgary is way better and also for the 2023. Now, if you look at Calgary over here from this view, I'm gonna show you how beautiful it is. Over here, that's the, my favorite lion here that they transported it to this area. That's like a memorial. And actually that road is called Memorial Drive, right under the bridge, it goes over there. I used to work nearby to this area. So it is a very beautiful city. Like, uh, I, I, I love this city so much honestly and if you look at the other part of like I was saying guys I am into real estate so I know what about real estate in Calgary I don't know the real estate in Toronto market or Vancouver I'm not licensed there I'm licensed in Alberta so you can buy homes for like half or one third of the price that you can get there so in terms of real estate uh, it's cheaper to own something as I said I own an, a, con a condo right over there and rent free. There is one condo over there that is for rent. I have a tenant there and I also have a house and I have two mortgages. Yes. And I'm planning to buy more real estate too. And I would say, you know, this wouldn't have not been possible if I was living in another city. So that's another reason to move to Ontario is financial stability, uh, afford housing affordability. Then the city has been ranked as the world's cleanest city, I think. It was 2007. You can Google it and find out. Also, it was last year, it was ranked as a third world best city to live in uh, with Vienna, on, on pair with Vienna, and number one most livable city in Canada, which nobody wants to talk about. And also, uh, in terms of, like, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, let me try to show you. But over there, you should be able to see some mountains right over there. So uh, lots of outdoor activities. We have Banff, Lake Louise, Canmore. So I'm buying a kayak this year. That's my plan for the summer. I'm going to be going kayaking because there's so many lakes and rivers to go into. There are camping grounds, there are sightseeing. I'm hiking every year in Calgary as well. And it's just like so many national parks. Uh, you know, I'm not too far, I live not too far away from uh, basically Waiters Flats, which is, um, which is another Albertan, uh, what, what's that called? Fish Creek Provincial Park. So I don't, I don't live too far away from there. I love that area. You know, you can go there, all the wildlife, we have deers roaming around my house. Like wildlife coming to us, not like crazy raccoons from Toronto, but actually beautiful animals. And sometimes on my cameras that I have all around my place, I can see even a skunk walking around at night. I've never seen one uh, like face to face. I hope I don't have to see one, but you see all this kind of beautiful things going on around Calgary. And it, it is a very magnificent nature city. 
all the bike lanes, the entire downtown is made that you can commute by bikes, the entire infrastructure, the I made a, a ton of video guys for even I partnered with the city of Calgary I made videos for for city of Calgary on a partnership agreement for YouTube I made a lot of videos from the transit the transit is very accessible it's even free in downtown within the free zone area and it's a city where I would recommend you having a car but you don't have to have a car. I know people who don't have cars and they're perfectly fine with the public transit. They're actually bring, building a hyperloop right now between Calgary, downtown, airport, and Edmonton. So we are going to have that. They're expanding the C train, which is transit system. It's not like Toronto where there is like a line and like, like a joke of a transit system honestly we have more lines coming up which are going to be spreading out to different parts of Calgary and one of the stops supposed to be in Chinatown as well so the transit is expanding the city is growing the new communities like the city is just growing wide and bigger and bigger and bigger and I would say yeah why you should move into Calgary into 2023 my main reason is for now it is a way better city than most of Canada. I would say better than Toronto and Vancouver for me, uh, raising a family. Need to, I'm getting one more kid. Uh, yeah, <laughs> we are getting one more kid very soon. And uh, to raise your family and to have a better income, to have better living, to have more opportunities and closer to the nature. I cannot, uh, I cannot uh, emphasize more on any other city except Calgary in Canada. And also, like you were seeing, like I can't, I cannot go. Like you need to get pair of this because it's a sunny capital of Canada. So it's like most of the time it's sunny, even if it gets cold, it's still sunny, and it's not as cold as we YouTubers make it look like. You know, just I, I love making videos when it's snowing. You know why? It gets more views from Ontario. I'm, I'm honest with you. You get more views from people in, in Ontario hating on Alberta. But I gotta tell you, tell you one more thing what is uh, one thing that popular in Alberta it's hating on Ontario <laughs> so I'm just joking with you guys anyways this is a beautiful city more and more of you I, I noticed are moving here from Ontario and from BC and a lot of people moving here from other parts of the world who discover about the city and they find them being successful uh, literally helping out a bunch of families who just recently moved here and they're already buying real estate like they just immigrated got jobs past probation we already have enough buying money to buy homes which is uns spoken of in Ontario because you cannot even save up for a down payment in those areas and a lot of people are commenting like that so that's why I like it here that's why I'm not going anywhere from Alberta like you can pay me enough to leave this place to go to PC or to Ontario see you guys in the next video love you all and subscribe